Welcome back to another video here at Savvy Saute. Today's video is going to be a party. My oldest child, Weston, is turning eight in a few days, and we did a camping sleepover birthday party for him. And I thought it'd be really fun to include you all in the party planning process so you could see some of the recipes that we did. And then if you wanted to have some kind of event like this, whether it's for a party or just to have fun with your family in your backyard, I wanted to share with you some tips on how to do this a little bit more on a budget. It was really warm that day, so a big feature of our party was playing out with water. So I just picked up the 98 cent water guns at Walmart, and then we also used the Buncho balloons for water balloon fights. Now, you will spend a little bit more money doing it that way. You could just fill them up yourself at your sink, but if you're wanting to save some time, you can go ahead and pick these up in smaller packs or the jumbo pack like I did for about $23 and fill up all of your water balloons in seconds. When you do this, you literally just shake the balloons off of the hose like this instead of taking them all individually off. Now, Walmart tends to have a much better price on party supplies in general. So instead of going over to the dollar store, check out Walmart because whether it's for balloons, tablecloths, party plates, anything like that, you're going to spend less at Walmart and sometimes even less at Dollar General as opposed to the Dollar Tree nowadays, especially since they've gone up to $1.25 for their items. So check out Walmart's party section. They are awesome. In fact, the only thing I got from Dollar Tree this year was the bags for the popcorn because I liked the print that they had. So moving on to the cooking portion of the party prep, I wanted to get started with the cupcakes. That way I would have time to get them cooled and then decorated. Now you can get an inexpensive cake mix at Walmart for less than a dollar in the Great Value brand, but I did get this brand less than 80 something cents at Kroger with a digital coupon. So that's what I ended up using. I made my own buttercream and then I decorated them to look like bonfires. So to do this, I first laid down some little pretzel sticks onto the cupcakes and then for the frosting, I mixed two different colors side by side in a big Ziploc bag and it came out piped swirl. It was so much fun and I thought it was going to be more difficult than it was, but anyone can do this. I definitely think you should give it a try, whether it's for making little campfires or you can do rainbow, unicorn, any theme that you want. Just put the frosting, all the colors next to each other in the same bag. Definitely give this one a try. For the finishing touches on these, I just put a couple of miniature marshmallows onto toothpicks. And then since I had a gas fire, I can just toast them myself. It is completely safe as long as you're in a well-ventilated area. Go ahead and toast your marshmallows and then stick those onto the cupcakes. Now the biggest hit was the s'mores brownies. So once the brownies were almost done completely baking, I tossed on some miniature marshmallows and let them finish baking in the oven to get toasted. We ended up doing a trail mix bar for the party favors. So I had these little buckets I picked up from Walmart and then I filled up each one of those with different items that people could choose from. And then they put them into these little lunch bags and I ended up cutting them smaller so they weren't so massive. And then we put little labels on them as the party okay. favor. I will leave the recipe linked in the description box for you on how to make these little pretzel dogs. We called them pigs in a sleeping bag because it was a camping theme. But instead of using crescent rolls, I just made my own really inexpensive pretzel dough, wrapped them around there, and then served them with some melted cheese. We also had pizza rolls, which my son has always called pizza pillows. It's so cute. And then I saved money by doing my own veggie and fruit trays. You just save a lot of money doing things yourself. Cut your own fruit, prep your own vegetables, make your own dip if you want. And then all of the treats, they are so cute and I saved so much money doing them myself. You can buy things at Walmart pre-done, you can get things done at a bakery, but if you take a little bit extra time, you can make things yourself. Just like with the candied pecans, I'll have a recipe down below for that as well, but I just made them myself instead of paying a premium to have them done for me. And you don't have to use the metal tins for the trail mix bar. You can just use more of those 
brown paper bags, roll them down a little bit so people can see what's in them. And then of course, labeling everything was so fun, but you don't have to do that either, but it's really not that expensive. We also tossed barbecue sauce and the leftover little Smokies into a crock pot, and that is always a crowd pleaser. Another way that I saved money in the long run is by purchasing a reusable tablecloth. It already matches my decor that I have and I know I'm going to use it again and again. So even though it cost a little bit more than a disposable plastic tablecloth, I love it and I know it was worth the money. We had thought about renting a bounce house or an inflatable obstacle course, but just having the water guns with a pool that they could fill up all of their own guns and to have the water balloons there, a sprinkler if they wanted. Plus, I mean, we had a swing set and the kids just had so much fun. They did not need to be entertained. You don't have to spend a lot of money for them to have fun. We even had light up little balloons that they could use that night. So it was really fun. Once it got dark outside, we of course had the bonfire. They did the s'mores and we even had a projector set up, which I will leave Link the projector that I bought off of Amazon. I am so impressed. My husband is really big into like tech stuff and I promise you this is so worth the money. I've seen things that cost way more money. This is crystal clear. It works amazing. It came with the screen. It was super easy to set up. You can hook up a VCR. You can do your Apple TV, Roku, anything like that, a laptop. I think you can even hook up your phone to it if you have the right connector, but it comes with everything that you need. You can hook up your sound bar. So I am highly impressed with this, whether you wanna use it outside or inside when it's dark enough, it is an absolute winner in my book. I didn't get any footage recorded of the movie night, but what is a movie night without popcorn, right? So I love using this silicone microwave popper. You can get this. I'll have it linked down in my description box for you off of Amazon. And then breakfast was really fun as well. I will try to have a recipe video for you soon about how to make these little bagel bites, but it is one of my business specialties and it's like a new york style bagel but in a small little bite so we had that with bacon cream cheese some of the little bagel bites had sprinkles so i served those with frosting and then they had fruit all the kids just had a really great time it seems and cleanup was a workout but it was so worth it so hopefully this video gave you some inspiration for a nice summer fun event. And of course, until the next video, I'll see you in the comments.